Welcome to another video of Tech Guide. In one of the video, you might have seen how to use Umang app, but in the, in this app, I will show you how to use a, a website unifiedportal.epfindia.gov.in. In this video, I will show you how to withdraw money from your PF account. So withdrawal is only allowed uh, once you leave the organization and uh, you are not paid for uh, almost more than two months. In that case only you can withdraw your uh, pf amount into your bank balance but before withdrawing that amount uh, you need to make sure uh, that uh, your kyc is done on employee provident fund account if it's that's not done then uh, please get it done and another another thing that uh, you need to make sure that uh, the date of exit should also be updated uh, on the on this site if that is not updated in this case uh, you won't be able to withdraw money from your pf account so uh, let me log into a pf account and i will show you step by how to withdraw money so let me enter my details over here you need to enter captcha Once you have logged into your account, it will show you uh, uh, all of your details, uh, member profile, your event number, name, date of birth, gender, blah, blah, blah. And there are different types. And on right, the top right corner, you will see your UN number and the name. OK. And here you can see uh, your UN card. If you click on this, uh, it will show you your UN card numbers. And I will suggest that uh, you download it and save it uh, for your future reference. That would be great. Uh, uh, in time of uh, need, because in that uh, during that time you not you don't need to log into your uh, EPF portal to check your uh, UN number and uh, other thing other details. So this is the home button, and now uh, let's see uh, view. So in view there are different options like a uh, UN card, the one that we already uh, seen on the home page. Service history. This is something. Uh, uh, this is something which. Uh, uh, provide details of how many organization you work with and it will provide all the details of different organizations so in if you have worked with uh, two organizations so uh, there would be details of two organization with your pf number your organization name then your date of joining date of exit in case if you have left your first first organization first organization and other details and profile is something uh, uh, details about your uh, about you Okay, over here, uh, the another tab uh, is manage where you can see different options like contact details where uh, your contact details uh, should be here like address, name, number, etc. And the KYC, so as I said earlier, uh, this should be uh, completed before you uh, need to withdraw your money. So uh, it's already done over here, KYC is complete. And another option is uh, modify details. If your KYC is done, you want to be able to modify your details. So once you click on modify details, it will get a message like uh, Aadhaar is already verified and you don't not, uh, need to do anything as it's, as it's not editable. And uh, another thing that I would also suggest you is uh, make sure that you have uh, e-nomination done. So in case of unseen uh, situations, uh, that this will help you uh, and uh, um, the money will be uh, transferred to your nominee. So make sure that uh, uh, you update this. And uh, another uh, tab is account where you can uh, change your password. So in case uh, if you forget or something like that, so you can change your password uh, over here. And uh, the last option that uh, I'm going to talk about in more details is online services. So if you click on our online services, there are three options. Claim, that is form 31, 19, and 10C. And another option is one member, one EPF account transfer request. And the third is track claim details. So uh, we will go one by one. So claim claim is related to uh, situations when you want to withdraw your money from PF account to your uh, bank balance and bank account. So uh, in uh, this can be done. Uh, uh, there are different situations when you can do this. Uh, so in case if you left the organization and you are not working uh, and you are unemployed for last uh, more than two or three months, then in that case you can withdraw your money. And uh, withdrawal money can be uh, both employee share, employer share, and pension amount. If it total service of uh, total service is less than ten years, 
if it's greater than 10 years in that case you would you would you would only be able to withdraw money from your employer share and employee share not with a pf one after once you complete a, a uh, age of uh, probably 60 years as per the government rules it keeps on changing so you can start your pension amount and you will get monthly uh, pension in your uh, account so over here uh, we will uh, i will show you uh, how to withdraw money from your uh, pf account considering over here that i have left the organization i'm not going to work further and my uh, uh, unemployment is more than two months uh, Okay, uh, another option uh, though I won't be uh, using this, but I, I would like to tell you one member one PF account. So this means that uh, suppose uh, you are working with X company earlier, you left the organization and then you started working with a Y company. And uh, since uh, you have a UN number, so both the, this PF account with X company and Y company would be linked to your UN account. And you will be able to see those, uh, both of the PF account linked to your UN. But uh, the balance would be for different company right so uh, in, if you, and i would suggest that in case if you have worked with multiple company and uh, you have different uh, uh, pf account so make sure that all all the uh, funds is transferred to your current employer the company with which you are working instead of having different uh, or different with different company because during a situations uh, emergency it will be easier for you to withdraw money in a single go so for that if you want to uh, transfer all your uh, uh, previous uh, PF balance to current organization, you need to use these options. And the third, uh, third option is track claim status. So this is something uh, used uh, uh, when uh, you have already raised a request uh, like uh, um, online claim or PF transfer, so you can check your status, okay? So let's uh, dig into this. Uh, uh, at least I will show you how to uh, see a one member one PF EPF account. So over here, these are the details. Uh, so uh, you can see the details. Okay. So over here, currently, uh, it's uh, just uh, details of the current uh, present account. Account with the uh, transfer will be affected. Uh, so this is something uh, with the current company I'm working or worked with. And uh, so if uh, you have multiple companies, so you will see other company details in on this screen only. So let's switch back to uh, claim online form. So once you click that, uh, it will ask, since your KYC is already done, so it will ask you to provide your uh, bank number, that is the last four characters of your bank number. So you need to enter that and, to verif and verify it. So in that case, I will put my last, uh, account number and this will ask you uh, to agree with the term and condition so click on that once you agree that uh, you need to click on proceed claim so click on proceed online claim and over here you will see a new option shorts, shorts of options so it will provide you all the details mobile number un number name permanent uh, uh, account number date of joining date of uh, exit so it, as i said earlier make sure that your date of exit is updated before you withdraw money okay and uh, there would be also a reason for leaving service i mean uh, so it's a search service so over here i want to apply for so here you can see there are two options like uh, online pf withdrawal form 19 and online pension withdrawal of form 6 form 10c so as i said earlier online pension withdrawal form 10c can be used if you have service of less than 10 years so in this case since i, I worked for maybe a couple of viewers so i will withdraw both of my uh, balance so first i will try to withdraw my pf withdraw i mean pf amount okay so i will click on click on only pf withdrawal once that is done then it will ask me provide uh, other details okay Imp and uh, let me uh, enter my details over here in in case if you have done this earlier so you don't need to do that again but over here i have not done it so let's let me enter those details again Uh, so, sorry, sorry about it. I need to take your extra time. <clears throat> you can select your uh, state.
almost I'm done. Okay, so once you enter these details, uh, you will uh, click on check mark and get uh, Aadhaar ODP. So uh, as I said earlier, your UN number should be already should be linked with Aadhaar, and you should be using the same number uh, that is used in your UN and Aadhaar. So click on get OTP, and you will get an OTP on your mobile number that is registered. And let, let's wait uh, to, to get uh, OTP. So once I have received my OTP, I will enter OTP over here. I validate OTP and submit claim form. So I will click on validating. So uh, once OTP is verified, you can you, you can see that you got a um, message over here that OTP has been verified. EKYC updated and an APF uh, final withdrawal claim from submitted successfully on unified portal. Please click here to view. So if you click here, you will get uh, your uh, uh, form details uh, that uh, uh, that you have used uh, for uh, withdrawal. So maybe you can save it for your future reference. So in this case, I will try to save it. Okay. And uh, since I withdraw my PF withdrawal, so now, now let's go and uh, withdraw the um, a pension uh, pension amount. So again, it will ask me to verify details. So again, I will enter my bank account details of last three characters and click on verify. Again, terms, I will agree to it. Proceed for online claim. And over here, in this case, I've already withdrawn my PF withdrawal. So I will click on only pension withdrawal form 10C. Again, it will ask me to provide a address. So I will pause this video uh, till the time I enter these details. Okay, so I've entered my details and uh, I will click on uh, Term and condition agree to it and uh, click on get OTP, other OTP. So uh, I'm waiting for the other OTP. I've already received the OTP and uh, I've already entered and will now validate OTP and submit claim form. So it's submitting. Now you can see that again uh, we got the similar uh, options OTP as in I mean message OTP as in verified EKYC updated and pension withdrawal form submitted successfully on unified portal click here to view your PDF so again I will uh, uh, click and save it for my future reference okay so uh, this is the process this was the complete process uh, to withdraw uh, PF amount from uh, uh, EPF site. I hope uh, you understood uh, each and everything that I was trying to explain over here. And in case if you have any questions or if you have any doubt related to uh, EPF, please uh, comment below and uh, I will try to respond to you. And I've already uh, also explained in another video of how to use uh, Umang app, and that is again from government. And that is uh, much easier and uh, you can use it anywhere, anytime to uh, do all those details that we did with the EPF site. Okay, and uh, uh, that's that's what I, I wanted to show you with this uh, video. And uh, thanks for watching this video and uh, uh, subscribe to my channel so that uh, you, you get, uh, you get, I mean, uh, all the tips and tricks that I try to learn from day to day and uh, try to educate all the people that are online now we are in digital india and um, I, I make sure that i do my part of job to make india a digital country thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe to this channel thank you and have a good day